Hello there, this is Malak and welcome to episode 88 or something. We are in a fight with, with with some pirates. Some pretty tough pirates as well from the looks of it. Oh god, they're focusing on us a little bit more. Come on, keep the shields going, keep the shields going. Um, oh my god, they've really started to lay into us. Oh, they left. They just left. I'm... Okay, I mean, I don't blame them. I don't, I don't blame them at all. That was, they, they, they popped into the wrong place. Um, yeah, let's, let's cancel Red Alert and, uh, and, and go back to what we were doing before. Oof. Who just gained some shield skills? Necromancer. You feel more, more capable of, of recharging shield systems. You can all have a break. Oh, I was hoping that they would, uh, they would stay and, and fight. To be fair, though, I wasn't 100% sure how well we would do. I think we would win. Um, like, this this military vessel's pretty puny. Oh, what a, what an unsatisfying result from the cliffhanger. Like, I left a bit of a cliffhanger last episode, not knowing how this was going to turn out. And then it turns out that they ran away. That's disappointing. I, I, out of my control, I'm afraid, guys. But um, it, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Give me basic or no drill available. Give me no drill available. What nonsense are you talking about? Literally this. Or is it like... I don't know what's going on with it. No drill available. What? Tosh. Or, or, I don't know. Or maybe it isn't Tosh. I don't know. But apparently, we have no drill available to be able to uh, to do that, which obviously is not true, because we've been harvesting that particular stuff for a while. So the military vessels have left, maybe maybe chasing the uh, the pirates. Who knows? I mean, the pirates left that way. Who knows? Who knows? I guess it's just not. I don't know. The ore processor is doing its thing. And maybe it's just busy. I mean, geez, yeah, look at that. 58 basic ore. It's got its work cut out. Yikes. Oh yeah, I, I do actually have the basic all selected, but it, be, it was because it was full that it was just saying nope. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. So we're going to have to keep an eye out to make sure that no more filthy pirates end up heading this way. I think we should be fine. Incoming ship next turn. Merchant Federation. Um, I can see what they've got for trade. Tech blocks, maybe. Logistics overwhelmed. As per usual. Let's let things settle down. Everyone's grabbing noms. How's the meat coming along? It's it's a little over halfway grown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking good. Needs a little bit of nurturing, apparently. Yes, it's part of the reason why I do want to put a limit. Oh God, that's um. I put put a limit of fifty because. I don't want them just slaving away constantly if we reach a certain maximum and can't sell the excess. Like, selling the excess is good. But if we can't sell the excess and it builds up and we get up to 50, then stop. <laughs> 50 means that there's a problem. Incoming ship next turn. What kind of... Oh, so the military lines are coming back. Okay, let's have a little look at trades. 
Um, nothing jumping out at me. Infra block's a bit pricey. I think I might just be trying to sell them things at this point. See if there's some crap that they want. I mean, we could always harvest more ice and then sell ice. I think I'm just going to do that, actually. Yeah. Grab all the ice, and then we can flog it to people. It's not much money, but it's honest It's honest work and all of that. Well, they, they, they like in the fruit. We're not building up too much fruit, though, are we? Okay, let's do that. It's not much. What are you whinging about? She's been fed. Like, literally, since last episode and this episode. Fed her, right? She's whinging still. She's like, at her feet. Well, not all of it. But you know what cats are like. They'll, they'll eat most of it and then they'll leave it. And then... I think she just wants some attention. Some love. Alright, you want some love? She looks like the sort of cat that's like... Well, if you don't know what I want, then I'm not going to tell you. Kind of like that. Yeah. I think because we were late to the game with weapon systems. We were a little bit behind. Now, there are some pirates that aren't particularly powerful floating around, but that particular ship's a little bit more of a challenge with the ship that's... the ship that we've got. We've got six autocannons, but our shield systems are just woefully inadequate. I want four of those advanced shield systems. That's what I want. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We've got a couple of other things that need to be done. The Optronics Fabricator, for one. Um... And then we can have the, the robots running amok inside the system. I mean, they're not running amok, but um, we can we can at least produce power cells for them then. I'm just glad we have everything we need. So actually, then again, it's apart from the logistics overwhelmed. Um, I think we're pretty much done now in this sector. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go. Oh, here's another useless message. Is it going to be the same one again from that? Yeah, look there, Erinus Andromeda belt, blah, 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 blah. No. We will not. Stop nagging us. It's like spam. You get the same bloody spam every single sodding time. And it's like, you know if you reply to it and say not interested, that's it. They're going to send you everything from that point on now. Because they know there's somebody receiving the message. But if you ignore it, then you're going to get it continuously anyway, because there's no cost to them sending it out to lots and lots of places without any guarantee it's being received. So, you know, it's exactly like like these spam that get sent out. It disgusts me. It absolutely disgusts me. <laughs> Maybe disgust is, is, is a bit, bit, bit more, bit more, you know, vigorous than is, than is true. Um, we do not need anyone on operations permanently, so we can wait for people to have a bit of a rest. Okay, get rid of the override, draft. On your feet, soldiers! Oh, no, hang on a second, we've got rogue, rogue robots. I was wrong in my previous hasty thing. Right, we need to uh, scramble fighters, get someone on operations immediately, and shields. Um, we've got the two fighters need to uh, just, yeah. 
they are just ripping our shields apart. I don't get how how ridiculous their um their systems are. Come on. Pew pew pew. Get someone on operations. Okay, I'm gonna toggle our shields off to the to the oh no, because we kinda of need to Come on, destroy them. It's not a, a scout anywhere, is there? No, that's good. Battle fucking stations then. So our shields are down, and now the robots are just smashing the crap out of us. Where's my other fighter? Where's my other person who's on the operations console for the point defense? Where is my defense? Seriously, where are people right now? We desperately, desperately need someone on the fucking operations console. I don't get why nobody is doing this. Uh, anyone will do. Anyone. I know why, because they're all in the bloody ship. We've put a load of people in a shuttle. Ugh. Okay, now we've got... Okay, there we go. I think we've actually taken them out now. <sighs> More rogue bots? Where? I'm guessing they're spawning on a ship. There we go. So, um, yeah. Go over there. And destroy them. You, you too. Someone's on operations, so the point defense are now firing. Okay, well, I'm gonna, um, drop the, uh, shuttle, um, on that location. And hopefully we can stop this insane nonsense. Come on, guys, don't float around. Actually move. Destroy them while they're sleeping. Holy crap, there's so many of them. Is that all of them, do you think? It'd be nice if it was, because that was a vicious fight. Oh my goodness, here we go. So, there we go. I think this one doesn't need fighters because it's not a robot one, but yeah, that was, that was a, that was a, that was a thing. That was a, that was a good one. Okay, guys, you, you guys head back. Um, also, fighters, you don't have to scramble anymore. Um, you head back. Thanks for your uh, 
Thanks for your hard work, guys. Thanks for your hard work, everybody. That was uh, that was a thing. Cancel red alert. Cancel battle stations. Um, yeah, that was good. Okay. Woof. Woof. That was that was a thing. So um, yeah, let's just claim the bloody ship. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough ship points to claim the ship. Is it too, like, too big? I guess we just abandon and recover it. But there's not really that much on it, other than a ridiculous amount of blocks, which will all be available when needed anyway. So, yeah, we... Because when we, um... When you do this, you, you get to see what the points are. So, we've only got two left out of eight and our our ship costs six so um unfortunately it's uh not something we can we can claim i'm guessing so yeah we're, we're just going to turn around and abandon it and then i guess we're going to salvage it and salvage that holy crap yes salvage that we're gonna just select everything and do it Nice. Fucking nice. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, l just look at the amount of of infra blocks. We've got tech blocks, we've got some power blocks. It's great. I'm going to strip this ship down, loot all of the goodies, and there are a lot of goodies here. It's just a case of, oh, Nakomi's all on her own, just one by one loading up these boxes. Merchant Federation are coming in. Maybe they'll give us a mission for the other derelict. Call me. Thanks. <laughs> just kind of, yeah, just loading up. I still say. I still say that we should have uh, higher tech stuff and, and, and you know, like these these things should be uh, <laughs> my otter ship otters retrieve item of interest so we have um, yep Firefox so they want that they both want an energy block but that is the one thing that I really, really would rather have myself. So, uh, no. He will break this down. Bit by bit, block by block. So many infra blocks. It was like hoarding them, weren't they? It was like two big piles of them. It's so bizarre. Most welcome, but very bizarre. Oh, well, there's the infestation of, of robots has been uh, used up. We've got the Military Alliance coming in next turn. This is acceptable. We still need to build the prison and quarantine area. So yeah, sort of quarantine in the front area with a couple of beds and, and various airlocks that force you to put suits on when you go in. Um, but then yeah, big prison refugee kind of area. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun. So, actually, then again, hmm. we've had some long episodes recently. I think I'm actually going to call this one early at 20 minutes. I know. What kind of horrific person would do such a thing? But, you know, it is what it is. 
So, oh, we've, I think we've had our first meat crop, which is not the sort of thing you want to hear, really. Um, yeah, there you go. We've had meat crop. Uh, I'm going to have a little look at these missions, but I think we know what they're going to be. Yeah. Capture the person. Good old Ryan Roberts. Really, really wanted, but hey, you know. I think once we figure out the um, the the better shields, the maybe those energy weapons they sound good. Um, but to be honest, maybe just spam auto turrets. They're cheap. They they're still going to get the job done. Um, I think I was looking at it where it's like, obviously it's slightly different damage depending on the source, but two auto turrets are kind of the equivalent of one of those other guns. It's just the auto turrets do equal damage to hold and shield, whereas the other specialist guns do more to the thing that they're designed for and less to the thing they're not. Um, so it, it was basically a, a, a two to one sort of ratio. So if I just put loads and loads of auto turrets everywhere, like if I have eight auto turrets, or or more, twelve auto turrets, because if you think, well, actually probably more like ten. You have two there, two there, two there, two there, and then when these shields get replaced with the better shield, I'll then put a second set of auto turrets here. That will then be 10 auto turrets across the ship. Um, that's, that's, you know, got that's got some some punch. Um, and, uh, and yeah, then we'll be done. And that looks like that ship's salvaged. So next episode, we will... Um, <laughs> it's not that much earlier now. <laughs> In another two minutes. So yeah, next episode, we're going to um, penetrate the fox. These, uh, sorry, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna salvage the, the CS Firefox ship, and um, that's a strange way of wording things, and we will uh, enjoy. I'm sure we will enjoy penetrating the fox very much. Cheerio.